Hi, this video was created by myself in late March 2024 to let other MG vehicle owners who have been putting up with this issue. The issue we are talking about is with the driving performance. The vehicle is stationary and you accelerate to move forward, such as at an intersection. There is a delay of up to two seconds. Some call it a lag. It is the time between you pressing the accelerator pedal and the vehicle starting to move forward. Be sure to click subscribe for any future MG related videos I create that may interest you. In my last two videos, I have spoken about this frustrating problem. In the second video, I went to the lengths of purchasing an electronic throttle controller because other videos mentioned that they have improved their vehicle performances. I was disappointed that the electronic throttle controller did not fix the delay lag issue with my MG from a stationary to a moving forward position. I was not about to give up. I knew DCT dual clutch transmissions perform differently, but because I have driven other DCT vehicles, including two MG vehicles, one front wheel drive and the other all wheel drive, I felt that something was still not right. Someone emailed me about a setting that when changed, did make a difference. I thought this was worth looking at. I came across a video of how this was possible and how easy it was. Now I am sharing with you how this is done so you can try it yourself and see if it makes a difference to your driving experience. Just thought I would mention that Google Lens, part of the Google Translate webpage, on your mobile phone with the use of your mobile camera, will allow you to see in English the Chinese words on the vehicle display. To begin with, let's start with the vehicle in the off position. OK. I am not sure if this makes any difference, but do not press the brake pedal, but press the start button once. On the touch screen, press the setup button. Then press the word system located at the bottom left of the screen. Watch carefully and make sure when you press your finger, you can hear a beep. Tap your finger as shown in the video, starting top left in a clockwise rotation, completing all four corners. It does make a difference in the sequence and direction if you are wondering. Now wait, the screen will go blank as it goes into engineering settings mode. Now that you can see several options on the screen, we are missing the option we are looking for. At the bottom left of the screen, you should see engineering mode. At this point, Watch carefully. If you don't touch it in the right place, and if you don't tap fast enough, it will not show you the additional options on the screen that are hidden. Tap quickly on or near the word engineering mode. When you see the other options appear, you can stop. Great. Now locate the can info button and press it once. Wait for the screen to change. What you should see now at the top of the screen is the words logistics, page one, page 2, page 3, page 4, and so on. Tap on page 2. In the bottom row, you will see AT, MT, and AMT, which you can select. At this point, I must tell you that my vehicle was set as AT with my vehicle. I noticed the AT was highlighted. I would be curious to hear what setting yours is set to before you change it. Please comment on here afterwards. Now tap on the AMT and make sure it is AMT is highlighted. Then tap on the OK button, which is located near the top center right. The system will restart. Finally, when the system comes back on, I suggest turning the vehicle completely off before starting the vehicle and taking it for a test drive, just to make sure the settings are fresh. That is the end of the video. Please comment below. Thank you for watching and hope you have a better driving experience.